let me show you a fast and easy way to copy random objects to points. So first of all, I'm going to create a for each point loop, a switch node and a copy to points node. So just plug it all in. It goes in here, this in here, this in here, and this goes in here. So now we're just copying the first input to all the points, now the second one, now the third one. Let's create an attribute that will drive the randomness. So for this we can use the randomize attribute randomize node. And it will create an attribute for us. In this case, it's just creating color. We don't want that. Let's create our own attribute, for example, my ID. Now the important thing is it will be you uh, custom discrete and it can be float or it's fine. And we need three values because we have three input points. First one is gonna be zero, this is gonna be one and this is two because this is zero, one, two. So now we just need to plug in a little expression so it switches every time it, it, it grabs this attribute and switches every in every loop. So what I can show you is we have these nodes and if I go through single pass so every every loop is just taking the point and doing something to it and in each case in each loop it's it's always because it's a single point it's, its number is zero now I'm gonna plug in the expression so this is gonna read a point attribute from a node and use it to drive the switch. We're gonna I'm gonna grab this attribute from the for each begin one. We're gonna take it from point number zero. I'm gonna take attribute my ID and because it's it's just a single value parameter, I'm gonna put in zero. If it would be a vector, you could grab the first or the, the the first, second, or third component. The one I'm just gonna grab the first component, and there you have it. And the great thing about this is you can very precisely control the amounts. So if I don't want any of the first and third input I'll just maximize this one I can mix in a little bit of the first input I can mix in the third input and so on and if you want to add a new object just plug it in let's make it purple for example and we are going to just create a, a new value and now we can add another object Okay, so now I'm copying random po objects to points, but notice how they all point at the same direction. So, this is my first object, second object, and this is, this is my uh, target geometry where I'm copying my objects to. So if you want, if you want to make the objects point at the normal direction or you know like their stick on the surface you can just add a normal node and the important, th important thing is to switch it to points so now you'll see it points out but notice how how the yellow arrow points in like a random direction and to control this, 
you can create an up attribute it's an up vector attribute and it controls the rotation of of the of this vector so to create an up vector attribute you can use the create attribute node attribute create node plug it in after the normal and you have to call this up it's a predefined value uh, class is point and type is vector and now you can see the arrow all the yellow arrows they point up it's better to see in here can make it point down or in any direction you like or if you're more of a vex guy you can use attribute wrangle run it over points and type in this expression which will do basically the same what we did before with this attribute create node let's point it down so these are two ways you can control the up vector all right hope you enjoyed the tutorial have a nice day and see you in the next one